I am here at Neef with Filippo, okay. I'm Lucia. Okay. Everyone. Yes. Thank uh, you. <laughs> uh, Italian brothers here make quite a few interesting and a couple unique things, especially like this guy here, the flat, automatic yeah. flat. Yeah, yeah. This is the Giotto uh, flat field generator together with the, the Alto telescope cover motor. Okay. So when you use together, you have a remotely operated cap mm -hmm. that you can use also to calibrate your pictures. Yeah. Yeah, I know flats are something a lot of people struggle with, so you know you're, you're making it easier for people to just. You know, now, tell me about the Eagle. I know, like, when I first saw you at Neef, and I think I even interviewed you on my channel, I think you only had one model at the time. Oh, yeah. And now you've got several, right? Several, so, yeah. This is the fifth generation of the Eagle. Okay. We launched it here, here I think, uh, 2016. And uh, essentially, the Eagle is uh, provides you is a computer is a computer with many features that you can't find in a standard computer, mm. because the Eagle has been specifically designed for telescopes. So it has a form factor that uh, allows you to connect it to any telescope, any type of telescope. Mm. But it's always a Windows computer, mm. because you know what. We are astrophotographers also, and we design things for, for us, first of all, when it worked for us. Okay. I mean, you're very enthusiastic about it too. Right? Yeah, yeah, we are, we, are. We, we enjoy, we love astrophotography, so that's it. Uh, but the thing is that I always enjoyed the, the, the possibility to use any camera, any software, any application that, maybe the future one. You don't know that tomorrow someone will come up with a solution, with a new camera, with a new software, something that you want to integrate into your telescope. And this was easy to do when we used the, the classic external laptops, but with Windows. Oh, I'm a Mac user. So, so I, am I. <laughs> okay, so we know the difference, um, but the thing is that if we want to be sure to use any type of device, for astrophotography you have to use Windows. It yeah. provides you universal uh, compatibility, you know that uh, someone doing a new mount uh, will provide you driver and ASCOM drivers and it will work. So we said, okay, this is already something that we do with the laptop, but laptops are difficult to use in the field. They have high power consumption, and then you have all this nightmare with cables, snuggling, and these problems all around with, by using the standard laptop. So we have to design something new that uh, provides, frees you from all the problems of the laptops, and, but still using Windows, because we still want to be sure that we want to have an open system that I can upgrade, update, uh, I want to use with any camera, any mount, any telescope I want to use. And that's the Eagle. But the Eagle comes with a lot of features that a standard laptop has not. Power distribution, new heater controls, GPS, inclinometer, uh, motion controller, eye sensor to measure the sky quality matter. Eagle, we call it eye because that's the eagle eye, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, but that measure the SQM value of just five degrees around the area you are taking a picture from. Mm, okay. So this way, all these these eagles allows you to have the same freedom to use the telescope, the mount, the camera you want to use. Also, our competitor stuff, no problem. We support them because we provide you the freedom to choose what you want to use. Um, is the RAM upgradable on yeah. this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the models they, they you can upgrade by yourself also. Um, just, just working on any other kind of PC. Like a computer. Yeah. yeah. The only thing that you can't do is to upgrade the processor because it's stored on the motherboard that is sitting in the Eagle. So that's it. Yeah. And obviously, motherboards probably change the port locations, yeah. and that would interfere with the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can change also the SSD drive if you like. Okay. But we suggest to use in grade the SSDs and RAM module. That's what we use in the Eagle. Okay. The Eagle 5 has all industrial grade SSD disk and RAM modules. I know with the conditions that we shoot in, like sometimes dropping really cold temperatures, I, I could see that being important. Oh yeah, very important and also for reliability in the long term, especially if you save uh, many, 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 a lot of data, like also for planetary uh, imaging. The, we have a lot of users that they use planetary camera, they connect with a short USB 3 cable to the Eagle and they save their video directly on the, video, on the Eagle.
Now, uh, do you guys like manufacture a lot of your own components yourselves? Yeah, yeah. In the company, we also manufacture, and we have a lot of other companies that also manufacture for us. Okay. And in the company, we do all the prototyping, design, of course. So we have designers, we have mechanical designers, electronic designers, and software engineers. We do all our software, our own code mm -hmm. for all the products that we have. Okay. And then in the company, we do also the assembly, the testing, calibration, packaging, and shipping all around the world. Do you think you guys might ever do cameras someday? Ah, oh, that's a good question. Well, you know, when we have to produce something, mm -hmm. I really, I have to think about and divide what I would love to have Mm -hmm. and what it makes sense for the business. Basically, you got to make it the Ferrari of whatever that category yeah. is. There you go. So actually, for example, we don't do optics. Mm -hmm. We are a telescope company that don't do optics because we think that it's better to cooperate with other brands to make this type of applications. Like we cooperate with Takashi and we create this remotely operated Takashi telescope or we cooperate with Celestron and we create this uh, remotely operated Celestron HHT telescope and we prefer to cooperate with them in order to make something different with their telescope instead of producing optics yeah. and I think same thing is also for a camera. Optics is a huge hole to jump into anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's not easy, even I, I, I suppose they make big investments in order to do this thing. And we are more an electromechanical software company. So for us, it makes more sense to develop electrical, mechanical parts and software things than optics itself. All right. How long have you guys been making your mounts? That's a good question. <laughs> well, I, I can tell you that we already make mount, but for our radio telescopes. Okay. Because most of these, the people doesn't know that uh, we also have a complete line of radio telescope that we are innovating uh, also in radio astronomy because we created a full line of turnkey radio telescopes to allow usually universities and science institutes to do radio astronomy in daytime. You know, that's the best thing of radio astronomy. <laughs> you can do in data even through the cloud always clear the yeah yeah you don't need that yeah yeah so if it's, it's cloudy no problem it's rainy no problem because we develop weatherproof mounts mm. and so we already do but not for telescopes okay. yeah. yeah um how many different mounts do you guys have right well uh, these are uh, uh, the avalon mounts from our friends uh, of um Oh, I'm sorry, I did not know they were separate companies. No, 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 it's, it's fine, but we <laughs> like, let's say that we like to show them because first of all, we use them, so okay. we know that they are great, first of all. Second, they come from Italy, they are Rome, close to Rome, so why not? We are here in an Italian booth mm -hmm. in US, why not showing an Italian mount also? Mm. So we enjoy just to have them, and it's fine, and they are working great, so yeah, even better. They are a very unique mount, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, because, we, because of the belt transmission, the no meridian flip, uh, they come with many features that you really enjoy to use when you do astrophotography. So we use them. All right, Fabio, I think that's all my questions. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>